Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Bork, and this is going to be a quick reaction to the Sharks' 8-7 shootout win last evening over the Arizona Coyotes. A fun game for fans to watch, not so fun of a game for the goaltenders, per se, and a great year for Reimer, and a very good year for Wedgwood. This is a game they would both want to move on from, but also a game that I wouldn't really put on them entirely, because it showed the sloppiness of how long the break was. It showed with the sloppiness of play and turnovers leading to a lot of these goals, and not necessarily poor goaltending. But let's get right into it, as this was a fun game to watch. Couture uh, was able to fire a wrist shot on net that ended up being credited to Barbanov. I thought that was Couture's goal um, last evening, so I'm happy I <clears throat> didn't do that video then. I would have been giving it to him. Um, and then Lawson Krause um, got, gets it past um, Reimer with a slot wrister after a turnover that was able to get through Reimer. That's when Reimer would probably went back with how good he's been this year but also one that was not 100% again on him because it was a pivotal turnover that led to the Coyotes being able to get the puck, Phil Kessel being able to get it to uh, Lawson Krause, who was a player of the game uh, for the Coyotes in this game. His name is going to come up again, but uh, he was able to get it to him, and that's how that happened. Uh, Matt Nieto was then able to get one on net. That's been a big thing for the Sharks. They've been, Buechner's been preaching, just get the darn puck on net. And you could see Nieto seem to kind of take a little bit of jazz off of that one so he could get it on net. And then Bonino was able to pot the rebound there. And then aforementioned Lawson Krause is back again as Giannis Moser gets his first after a turnover um, that Krause draws, gets the puck to him. He fires a beautiful shot over Wedgwood. And if he's able to do that, he was more of an assist demon when it came to the World Juniors. If Moser is able to add that scoring uh, shot um, to his game at the pro level as well, he's going to be even more dangerous than they pegged him picking him second in last year's draft, already thinking he was going to be a pivotal offensive specimen. But if he can be able to fire that type of shot and jump up on the play, like, damn, he's going to be a great offensive specimen. But, um, again, turnovers were the issue in this game, as it was on that play as well, as that rounded out the first half, or the first period, with scoring. And then we were able to have Semek uh, get one. He doesn't score many goals, only six in his career prior. Um, he's able to wire the one-timer goal as well past Scott Wedgwood, as there was nothing much Wedgwood uh, could have done on that. And then Jeffrey Veal, right after that goal, didn't even get time to think, um, trying to center it in front to his team. And I think that might have been Barbanov. Um, he was trying to center it, or it might have been uh, Gajovic. Um, but it was one of those two guys he was trying to center it in front to, and it ends up going off of a Coyotes player and then into the net. So sometimes you need luck, but getting your first goal, you're taking any way you can get it, as he's been playing solid uh, this year um, in the handful, of, or he's been playing solid in his career, I should say. This was his first game this year in the 12 handful of games he's played. Now he's able to get his first career goal. So good job for Jeffrey Veal. Um, we got first career goal for a Shark and a first career goal for a Coyote as Giannis Moser um, was able to get one as well. And then in the second after Veal scored, it was while they were still announcing the Jeffrey Veal goal, Clayton Keller wired one off of the bar down and in, absolutely no chance to save that. And then Meyer, there was some separation between these goals, uh, 7.48 to 14.13. Um, uh, Meyer was then able to get a goal of his own as he batted it on a beautiful backhander out of the air while getting cross-checked a little bit, was able to bat the backhander into the back of the net. So that was an impressive play right there. Yanis Mosher then got his second on a slap shot from the point that he was able to find a way to get through, similar to how guys like John Klingberg um, are able to just find ways to get the puck through on net to generate offense. Uh, that is what Mosher was able to do on that play. And then Tomas Hurdle, who is a very important player that comes up later in the shootout, um, wired it home on a high um, slot shot. And then Kraus, Lawson Kraus, a, again, player of the game for the Coyotes, was able to put it home on a rebound. <clears throat> and then Couture had his first goal, thought he had one earlier, ended up going to Brabanoff off of him. Couture then does have a goal on a nice wrist shot that then ends up getting credited to him and not someone else. And then Andrew Ladd, the veteran that's been around, had to play a couple seasons in the AHL and now is back getting an opportunity with the rebuilding Coyotes, is able to chop it over the netminder James Reimer at the end of this game. 
Was anybody else kind of surprised that both goaltenders stayed in for this game? Maybe not just because it's the first game back. They wanted to see them get action. But 8-7 game, normally you would see one team switch. But Andrew Ladd's able to chip it over the goaltender nonetheless. Uh, Tomas Hurdle then comes up big again. Um, as I mentioned before, uh, he was able to get it done in the shootout. He had the game-winning goal. And then Logan Couture, who also had a hell of a game for the Sharks, uh, the star players of this game, would definitely be Logan Tour being one of them. He was all over the ice, the captain. And then also Tomas Hurdle, uh, who was able to get the capitalizing goal. And also, of course, had a goal that he wired home in the regulation as well. And then the third star of the game would have to be Lawson Krause with how good he just played overall and was just all over for the Coyotes, forcing turnovers, playing great. Uh, even in a losing effort, he was definitely a star of the game. Where the honorable mention would have to be Giannis Mosher, um, with how good of a game he played in only his third NHL game to be able to come in and play over 20 minutes. He's a relied-upon defenseman early on already for Tordy, and he showed um, the trust. Um, Mosher showed why he got that trust with his play, being able to capitalize two goals and just look great overall, uh, sliding the puck at the point, moving around, cycling the puck well, skating well, yada, yada, yada. But this has been a reaction to the Arizona Coyotes and San Jose Sharks, a great fan-watching game, 8-7. Obviously, the teams are going to want to tighten it up, but this is a great game for fans to watch. It showed that it was the first game back after the holiday break. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everybody. Please continue to subscribe down below if you enjoy the content. Or up above on the easy-to-use widget, stay safe out there, and enjoy the World Juniors and the NHL action.